formulated just for teens. Introducing XAP, the no hassle, no drama, one step solution that's so easy they'll actually use it in one part of the face. One problem I got is just my overflow box creates a shadow right there. But that's where supplemental light comes in. Everything is just out and huge. And then the issue with a spread is these are interchangeable for height. And obviously I don't have it keyed up. It gets all the way on the bottom really well. I need someone to come over with a car meter to check it out. But like if you could tell over here, it just looks like that side doesn't get any light. Raise this up at about maybe about four inches. Really does offer a spread. See that? That's back down. This is up four inches. So that's the only downside to these lights is the fact that you know it does offer a pretty good spread. I mean these are 60 degrees, so you can get 80 and 120, um, but it doesn't really offer the the depth to get down to the bottom. But right there would be like perfect for everything. One thing I hate about these bow fronts is this middle right there so no matter what you do with the lights you're always gonna have a little bit of a shadow but so far I mean this offers the best when it comes to looking in the tank and UVs really give it a lot of pop just need to raise these up at about four inches Like that. What I'm doing as well is I'm trying to find a seller of nice clip on lighting to like hang on the back. Something like this. Or even something that goes clips on like right there. You can get one here, one there. That would be cool. I mean.